Hi, I'm teacher Phoebe and today I'll be working on an activity from the intentional teaching card M34 called cover up. And the objective of this um, intentional teaching card is to compare and measure. So the materials we'll be using are three shape grids and I have a triangle, a square, and a rectangle. And I divided them into smaller shapes. We also will be using three color shapes, a red one, an orange, and a blue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them like puzzle pieces, like this one I did right here. So now that we've cut our puzzle pieces, we're going to practice. So you can start by introducing the shape and telling your student, okay, we're going to try to match the colored pieces to the triangle. And you can first model. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna put this piece here and this piece here. I made a triangle. Now it's your turn. So now that we practice with the first shape, we can move on to the second shape, which is a square. And we can go ahead and grab our blue square puzzle pieces and we can ask the student, so how many blue squares do you think it's gonna take to cover our big square? And then we can move on and be like, well, let's find out. So what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start covering the squares. I'll go first and then it'll be your turn. So we can go ahead and start first and put one and then give the student the squares and say, it's your turn. And then have them put one square. And then by taking turns, and when we get to three, we can stop and say, okay, so, so far we have one, two, three squares. So let's keep going. And then we can have the student put on one more square and then take turns and keep going. And then when we get to the second row, we can count again. So let's count how many squares we put down so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six squares so far. So for the last row, let's have the student try and tell them, now you try to fill out the last row and have them put the last pieces. Once we're done, we can say, we did it. We completed the square. Now let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It took nine blue squares to fill the big square. We did it. It's always good to provide positive feedback to your student. You can give them a thumbs up, a high five, and let them know you did great. You come covered up the square and we can move on to the last shape and for our last shape we can provide the student with the pieces and tell them now it's your turn to try and now once we're done filling up the rectangle Again, we can count the pieces and give positive praise for them completing the rectangle. And one thing to consider when you're making your shapes is that you can use less puzzle pieces like I did for the triangle activity to make it easier. Or you could use more puzzle pieces like this example to make it a little bit more challenging. So I developed a few adaptations for this activity for students that are still developing their fine motor skills. 
So um, when using paper, it's thin, so it can be um, hard for some students to pick up because it's so thin. So a good adaptation is that I cut toilet paper rolls and students, and this is easier to grasp, and they can use a palmer grass, and they can put the toilet paper roll onto the rectangle. Another adaptation that you can use also using shapes is Legos. And as you can see, they're easier to pick up and they can place onto the square. And a third adaptation is that I use this foam paper, which is thicker compared to the thin paper. And it's easier to grasp. And that's the end of our intentional teaching card M34 activity cover up. And this activity covered cognitive development, math, and fine motor skills. Thank you for watching.